Hello all. I haven't made a video in a while. And it's because I've been going through life changes, moving 1,400 miles across the United States. Yeah, that was crazy. Anyways, this video is like completely off topic from things that I've ever talked about on my page. But I'm just going to do it because I've seen so many girls post about it. And it's like, it's just irritating. I've seen so many girls. And I've seen guys too. But the majority is girls. And they're like, there's no good guys out there. There's no good girls out there. Like... There are, but do you remember like 12 years ago when we were all going out Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, having a good time, closing the bar down? You were probably the girl that went home with a different guy every weekend. And here it is 12 years later, we still remember that shit. You know, like you, most of the women that I'm talking about, like you did this to yourself. Like, you didn't have to go out with every guy that you met at the bar. Like, you didn't have to spread your legs for every guy at the bar. You just didn't have to. I, like, I, I don't, I don't have nowhere to put this. Like, I just don't understand. Like, every, you bitch all the time. Like, I, there's a girl on my Facebook that I literally had to delete and block today. Because every time I turn around, she's F this N-word, F that N-word. Like, there's no good men out here. You know, have you stopped to think about yourself? Like, what are you doing to all these men that you're meeting? Because I'm pretty sure I've seen you post a different picture every weekend with a different guy. And you have a two-year-old. Like, you're subjecting, I'm sorry, subjecting your kids to that. Like, no wonder she doesn't know who her baby daddy is. Because you're with a different man every weekend. You're bitching you don't know who your baby daddy is. That's why. Because you're out hoeing around. Like, people remember this shit. They think back, oh, well... She's the girl that left with a different guy every night when we all closed down the bar. People remember that shit. It's like, you probably have come across somebody that was good for you. And I actually know a couple of the men that you have come across. That you have come through their whirlwind path. And they're good men. Because look at them now. They're married, they're happy with their children, their home, their vehicles. Like, they're living the American dream that you dream about living. And that could have been you if you would have kept your legs shut. Get off Tinder. I just found out what Tinder was. Are you kidding me? Like, I don't even know what to say about this at all. Like, I did not know there was an app to screw. I, I just didn't know it. And there is. So, get off Tinder. Get off Plenty of Fish. Get out there and meet somebody. Like, get out there. Don't go to the bar. I mean, you, there's nice bars. There's nice bars. You know, put on a classy dress. Not booty shorts that are cut off with your boots. That's for the downtown bars. Like, PRs and the stockyards and... GNC and that's for that like put on a nice dress and just go sit at a bar and have a drink and I'm sure someone's gonna walk up to you make sure you brush your teeth that day because if your breath is stink guys will walk away and if you don't walk away I would like I am what's the word very picky like things that other people notice you know, like, guys will notice eyes or smile or boobs or ass or whatever. Like, when I look for somebody, whether it's male or female, I'm not a picky person. But if you don't do these certain things, like, I don't, I just can't. I, I don't have time for it. But get out there. It has taken me 10 years. 10 years. I fell in love 
<sighs> very long time ago. <laughs> Don't want to show my age in this video. Anyways, it can happen. It took me 10 years. It did. And, but I'm here now and I'm on my way to live in the American dream that I want to live with the person that I want to live it with. You know, it's, you, you have to think about the other person too. Like if you're wanting to date somebody, like you have to be ready to get rid of all them dicks in your contacts. Like that's not okay. If you are wanting to be in a serious relationship with a man or a woman, like you literally have to be ready to delete all that shit out of your phone. Don't tell me it backs up to Google, blah, 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 blah. I don't care. Go delete it from Google. There's, there's options. There's ways. You know, like, I'm not saying get rid of friends or anything like that. Like, keep your friends. But... You're going to have to delete shit from your life. You're going to have to stop opening your legs and realize that guys remember shit and they remember that you were the girl on the dance floor 10 years ago with a vagina hanging out looking like a buckle bunny and look at you now. Single, two kids, no baby daddy, no job on welfare. I do believe you did this to yourself. Not anyone else.